Dear, how were thy sons and thy daughters are here to give thee great praise is thy due. With our voices they sing out their full rousing cheer, proclaiming them loyal and true. O mother of men and of women devout, who have kept thy dear memories warm, first of schools in our hearts and the whole world to us, standing calm and proud through all storms. I am Mark Seals. I am the coordinator of the Howard High School 1985 anniversary basketball team celebration. It was a hard, hard fought battle. Um, Delmar was just the toughest team that we played all year. They had beaten us once before, uh, of, a couple weeks uh, before the state championship, and uh, they were um, images of their coach, who was, uh, if I can remember correctly, a, a black belt in karate. And uh, they were like little ninjas. They were all over us. Uh, they ended up with uh, three or four of their starters on the bench at the end of the game because they fouled out. We had multiple players uh, that fouled out in that game, or fouled, had four fouls in that game, excuse me. But um, we persevered, and I thought that um, the, our greatest memory, uh, my greatest memory, had to be. Uh, winning a state championship with those, those young men because they worked so hard. Honestly, reflection on that year was us winning the whole thing. It was like 
you know, the dream come true to finally win a state championship and be a part of that atmosphere at the time. It was just like, a, you know, and now it's a moment that I won't forget my first state championship. Looking at this picture and bring back a lot of memories for the camaraderie that we had with one another. We went to war every day in practice and then we took it out on the opponent. Great experience, uh, wonderful experience. Um, we had a really good team, very competitive team. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that we were the first team in the state of Delaware to win three titles in the same year. That would be the Flight B title, Flight A title, and state championship all in one year. So that was a great accomplishment for our basketball team. And what history was. I was awesome. 1985 state championship team, the best team in state history. In my opinion, we were tough, we played above the rim, and we had fun playing together. Uh, my coaches, I, I salute my, my brothers, my, my fellow players, uh, Albert English, uh, Blau Rahim, uh, Daryl Chambers, uh, all of them, you know, we couldn't have did it without without each and every one of us playing that specific component. Um, you guys are I didn't great. play the whole state championship game. And for a long time, I couldn't understand how come Joe Hussey didn't put me in there. And one day when I was talking to him, he told me that um, he once had a freshman who he threw into us a basketball game, a high pressure basketball game. And the young freshman uh, made a few mistakes and someone said it cost him the game. And he said that that young freshman who everyone had high hopes for, he never rebounded from that. And he said that he would rather have lost the game than lost me as a player uh, for the remaining three years. The person that I would like to highlight is uh, Joe Hussey. A basketball coach, uh, a guy who I will be forever indebted to who showed me that coming out of Riverside, a person with great potential, that I owe not only my family, not only myself, but also owe my community to be the best that I can ever be. And to one day reach back and help them to realize their full potential. So Joe Hussey was a man who I greatly admire to this day. Um, he has always helped me through my personal struggles. Um, he helped me grow to the person I am today. Years, I think of the whole stretch with Joe Hussey from really 1980 to 86. Not just the 85 team, those other teams were great also, 1984, 1986. Any of those teams probably could have won a state title, but it was something about that 1985 team that was very special. Special for me, I recall the packed crowds in the gym. I recall the excitement of games against Wilmington. Gene Thompson and some of those great matchups. Uh, AJ English, who went on to play in the NBA. I remember Lem Joyner coming over from Tattnall to play uh, an instrumental role in that team. I remember Mike Smith, a big kid. Uh, Al Raheem, who was a forward, he could play some point guard. A really special group of kids, but I think the most special moment for me was seeing Joe Hussey. With those kids after winning the state title in 1980. Uh, coach Joe Hussey, uh, Coach uh, Steve, and uh, Coach Kwan, you know, they're very good coaches. You know, they have a lot of background, a lot of knowledge of the game. And, uh, I mean, he was a really good coach. You know, he, you know, he had to deal with Our coaches, I believe, were the best coaches. Not only did they teach us the game, but they also taught us about life. Uh, coach Hussey, Coach Lee, Coach Kwan, they were really um, a full part of who we were as we were growing up. They taught us the responsibility part and being accountable as teammates and playing basketball was just something we did that was fun. Definitely. My relationship, I'd like to think that um, the young men on the, the, the 1984-85 uh, Howard basketball team um, liked me as much as I liked them. They were, they were a good group of guys. They worked hard. They had, uh, there was a really great mix. Um, we had some guys who were fun. We had some guys who were serious. Uh, we had some guys, uh, always had guys who were tough, but uh, above all, they always treated the coaches um, uh, with respect all the time. Joe Hussey, our basketball coach, uh, 
a guy who I will be forever indebted to, who showed me that coming out of Riverside, a person with great potential, that I owe not only my family, not only myself, but also owe my community to be the best that I can ever be, and to one day reach back and help them to realize their full potential. So Joe Hussey was a man who I greatly admire to this day. Um, he has always helped me through my personal struggles. Um, he helped me grow to the person I am today. But another person who really helped me in high school was uh, Bilal Raheem, uh, number 52. captain of the team and I was also a leader of the team. As far as the position I played, I played a moving guard. Um, of course, over everything, um, the relationship we had was great. Um, we started from the freshman coach, Coach Pond, all the way up to the um, RFC coach, Coach Hush, and not to uh, leave out Steve Lee, he was awesome too. And like I said, the relationship we had with all three of them was great. And an assist guy, and you had Lamb who was doing what he did, and, and, and Aaron Gosa, and, and a number of the others that I just can't come up with the names right now. But this is a fun team to watch. Howard High State Basketball Championship team uh, represents success, it represents achievement. It's, it's through the uh, athletic pursuits of that high school team that the city of Wilmington gets to be promoted. It's through the success of that team that people of different racial and economic backgrounds come together uh, to, to, to become more of a sense of community, to take pride in the accomplishments of the local community. So how it has 1985 team Again, played a major role in promoting the city, played a major role in promoting Howard High School itself, played a major role in helping to bring the various elements, racial and social elements of our community together to plan and to uh, work together as one community. Definitely. I thought it was a great season. I uh, thought the, uh, the young men were well organized, the coaches had a plan, and every game they played, even when they were behind, they knew how to work extremely hard to, to bring the team out for a victory. Uh, the community was just so supportive, and I was very proud of them. 
uh, I had an opportunity to beat Wolfie uh, during that time period. This team here meant a lot to the community and the city of Wilmington. Um, we had a strong fan base. Team made up. The team was made up of uh, individuals from every side of town in Wilmington, including uh, Newark, Delaware, also. And I think it just shows how people can come together and to one common goal and be from different places and work together and become brothers as well as good friends. And most of us still stay in touch to this day and are good friends. Um, it's just an honor once again to be recognized for something that would always be with me and has always been with me. If I could remember those blue jackets with the state championship ball on it, <laughs> everybody had them and the team had them and everybody else wanted one of them. So I think it was a beautiful thing and I just appreciate the recognition and that's pretty much it. Family oriented team here. We hung out, did things together. I mean, you wouldn't have seen too many of us without the other one that, that year. So we had that bond that reflected off the court as well as on the court. So that made us better that year. <clears throat> At Howard, um, made it so that they were uh, more than happy. Uh, to, to have champions uh, again, uh, have the Wildcats be champions again. Um, you know, it's, it's just such, it's a, a storied history at 401 East 12th Street. And I think that um, winning a state championship always lifts the community uh, and makes them all happy and remembers their, their good days back, when, uh, back at Howard. The community was fully supportive of what they were doing. We were just so proud that, you know, to see those young men uh, win all those games and all of the newspaper articles as it related to what they were doing. It was a fantastic time and uh, the community, the school climate was just wonderful. When they were about to win the state championship game was, of course, now and again this is personal, um, Drew was on the foul line with just a few seconds left and the game was very close and, uh, and, I, and, I, and with pride, with great, great pride, members of the Marsh Youth Center, both adults and, and, and children, were there at the game.